Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with some purple and black and a little touch of blue. And we'll come right up here to the top and just drop in a little bit of sky. Maybe today we have a sunset or a sunrise. All it is, we just want some nice color up here in the sky. There. Let it get nice and soft and light down here at the bottom. Next, we can drop in a nice little glow down here at the horizon. Just a, a little bit of yellow, red, a little touch of brown every once in a while. Not too much of this color, just here and there. Now with a fan brush, we can drop in some nice clouds. Really, this is just the dark part of the cloud. We'll be coming back and adding some nice highlight. There, I'm just kind of swirling this color around. All right. Don't cover it up completely. Leave these nice light and dark areas in there. Maybe some comes down like this. I don't know. Make the edges just nice and soft. The next thing we want to do is give this sky a nice little blend. And I'm just using a two inch brush to do that. Especially down here in that nice yellow area. I want it to be very, very soft, soft edges. Like it's just very, very misty or very far away clouds. There, you almost can't make out any detail. Soft. Really get in here and disturb the edges. I don't want to see any hard edges. Now with the filbert brush and some white and yellow, we can add on some nice highlights here. Now we really do not want much paint on the canvas. Too much paint and we will not be able to blend or get any of the nice effects that we're going to get in just a minute. So very, very little paint. You can move the paint around on the canvas. You know, you put a little too much down, lift it off, move it somewhere else. You're not locked in. You can do anything. Occasionally, pick up a little more white. Do some nice pure white things right out on the edge. With the top corner of a two inch brush, we can begin making this cloud nice and soft. Now I'm just doing little, gentle, tiny circles. This creates a lot of, a lot of nice soft areas in here. We don't want the cloud this hard. There. I suggest doing a, a minute or two of blending and then step back and take a good look at your painting. And decide if it needs more blending. That way, that way you get it perfect exactly what you want. Now that we're done with our sky, we can drop in a very distant mountain. Now I think today, this mountain is going to be so far away that we see almost no detail at all. And that's, that's great because it creates a lot of, a lot of nice depth back here. A little more white. I'm just using a nice light gray, very similar to what we, what we had going on those clouds. Now I've picked up a little bit of paint on the small edge of the knife. And I'm just going to rub on a very, very few indications of highlight. We don't need much. Not only this, is this mountain far away, not much texture, but I think we're going to even soften it a little bit more. There. 
don't really don't really have to worry about breaking texture today. Maybe there's a little more sunlight on this one. Because these mountains are they're really just too far away for, for much texture. Now with just the corner of a two inch brush, we can very, very carefully soften these mountains. I don't wanna create so much mist down here that we lose it all. But I do wanna push them back very, very far away. Make them hide in the mist. Very soft. There, look at that. They just kinda go right back there now. And bring some of this color around. I think we'll have some trees there, so we're not too worried about this area. Just a little bit of mist. Now with the fan brush, we can drop in some nice, far, far away trees. Just touch down, lift up, and you see you get little tiny treetop shapes, and that's great. And of course you're not limited to that. You can kind of, you can kind of roll the brush like this, just to get, you get a different effect. Look at that. Just kind of a, more of a rounded tree. Anything you want to do. Now we can begin thinking about some water here. Maybe we'll just pull straight down with a one inch brush. There, just a little bit of color. And we can grab a, a two inch and just blend it. All right, touch into a little bit of black get some nice reflections of the mountain and clouds and really anything. This could be a reflection of just about anything in the painting. There, pull it down. Yeah, look at that. Now back to the fan brush. We can rub in a lot of nice shadows. I have just a little bit of paint loaded up on the brush and then I kind of pick up a little bit of the bottom of the trees. Now we can drop on some very nice highlights. Just rub with the fan brush. Be sure not to cover up all your dark. In fact, leave a lot of it showing through. There. Now any place that's a little bit too hard, you can take a, take a two inch brush and rub it just a little and it'll soften it. Then it'll be just perfect. All right. Now with the filbert brush, we can drop in several nice little trees back here. In fact, maybe they, there's quite a few and they kind of work up toward the foreground. Now, of course, each of these trees is gonna need some limbs and maybe just a few open and loose leaves. There. Okay, wait a minute. We need a big one. It starts right up here and it comes down. Covered that one, that's okay. And it comes down like this. Oh yeah, let's give it a little, little bigger base there. Reload up the brush and we'll drop in that nice one back here. A couple of little guys like that. Now with just one corner of the brush, we can tap on a few nice open and airy leaves. Not too many, really just a few here and there to give it a nice, nice look. Like there's just a, a couple of leaves hanging on there. Maybe this is kind of early on in winter. Or maybe these are just, just leaves that they've stayed around for a long time. It's very pretty. You get a nice effect. Just tap. Now with the knife, we can drop on some highlight to this tree. 
Just touch and gently let this knife work around the, the tree. Very gentle. Just enough pressure to get that paint to come off. And let, let a lot of this nice dark come through. It gives the indication of shadow. Now with the dark brown on the knife, we can throw in a nice rock. Maybe a couple of rocks here in the foreground. This will really help push everything back very far away. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.